good morning students let us pass on to the next supplementary a shot in the dark by hector huge munro before we pass on to this let us pray dear god we praise and thank you for your love and mercy on us you are always kind to us you help and protect us in all our ways still be with us in our studies we ask this in the name of our lord jesus christ amen we can have a view about the author hector huge munro better known by the pen name saki and also frequently as h h munro was a british writer whose witty mischievous and sometimes macabre stories satirize edwardian society and culture he is considered a master of the short story and often compared to o henry besides his short stories he wrote a full length play the watch the pot in collaboration with charles maud students take page number 58 a shot in the dark by shocky the tamil meaning for a shot in the dark moodathanamana karpanai or we can call it as yuham this is an idiomatic word a shot in the dark it means a guess that has a small chance of being right here the character slather by guessed that berty another character he thought that berty was a fraud but later he realized that berty had not lied to him but that he had mistaken him for a fraud the main characters in the story philip slather by a man who wants to become a politician Ma- mrs shalkman jago a rich and influence and la- influential lady of high rank berty son of mrs shalkman jago cloud people casey a friend of slather by a shot in the dark is an amusing story that describes how a man who considers himself very smart and observant finds that he had mistaken the genuine plea of a stranded youth please turn to page number 58 in your textbook a shot in the dark by shocky in the first paragraph we can see philips leather buys feeling of contentment philips leather buy hope to secure the nomination of mrs sharp and jago so that he could become the member of parliament of sockshire mrs sharp and jago had a lot of influence and important person in that country philips leather buy thought highly of himself he appeared to be a self satisfied person he was on his way for a brill manner to see mrs sharpen jago in order to get her influence berty was going from london to the countryside to go for fishing for the weekend he had forgotten his coin purse he had left his purse behind after sealing an envelope with a crest on the purse crest means a symbol representing a family reproduced on writing paper so berty needed 3 pounds and asked slather by to lend it to him berty knew that philip slather by was going to visit berty's mother because he heard slather by's club acquaintance berty also was a traveling companion of philip slather by he was engaged in searching furiously for some non existent object he was searching for something frantically later philip came to know that berty was searching for his purse among the other six items that he heard berty was a young man of about 22 with a dark hair fresh 
complexion a conversation took place between philip's leather boy and bertie philip asked many questions to bertie when bertie said that he was the son of mr shalt ben jago and he was in need of 3 pounds bertie told philip that he was traveling to the same place at brill manor he told him that he had forgotten his purse with some currency in it when this passenger that is philip asked whether he could lend money he could return later when they met at the brill manor first philip agreed and after some time he hesitated to give it however the man gave a different description of the missing crest when philip asked the man if his mother whom he was supposed to meet described him he replied yes philip told him that he was asking this because he had so far also communicated with the persons he was going to stay through letters and he had not met her in person to make sure that bertie was the son of solp and jago he lied to him that he had not met her at all bertie got down at his station he once again asked him for money philip refused once again philip had got a doubt regarding the crest his suspicions were confirmed when the man described his mother philip actually had met the lady the previous week over lunch and her hair was blonde blonde means yellow in color philip slatherby did not believe that bertie was the son of mrs sharp and jago philip slatherby was received by claude people casey He knew about Mrs. Sholp and Jago well. He was fluent and talkative. He liked and knew about the cars. While describing the appearance of Sholp and Jago, Casey referred to her altered hairstyle. Slatherby sat dumbstruck on learning that Sholp and Jago had changed her dark brown hair to a blonde just five weeks ago. Slatherby realized. that bertie had not lied to him but philip had mistaken him for a fraud slather boy was also gazing at the door panel of the car on which were the two crests a demi lion and a grey hound courant from this story we learned that bertie turned out to, to be just and truthful who claimed to be with embarrassing consequences to slatherby who was seeking the sponsorship of the youth's mother in a forthcoming parliamentary election i believe you understood the story thank you children